Bumps. Same lightsaber. It's time for the Jedi to end. It's been Del Toro. I know that voice. Ooh, who's okay. okay. So, to give you an inside look at how they conceptualize real quick. All right. So that was the trailer. Um, which very much was like a teaser, like the first uh, trailer we got for Force Awakens. You know, it was short, a couple of images here and there. Um, at first, they showed it twice. After they finished showing it, uh, he, uh, director came back out and said he wanted to watch the trailer once again with everybody there in attendance. Um, second viewing, I, I got a better look at some stuff. Ray was on the cliff, and it looked like she was practicing her lightsaber techniques on the cliff. Also, that voice at the end. I believe that was Vincenio Del Toro's character that sounds like him. I know his voice. That sounds like him. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, whatever. But he's talking about one thing's for certain, the Jedi must come to an end. It's, I like. I thought they already thought the Jedi were. I mean, they're looking for Luke Skywalker. He has knowledge, you know, from Yoda. And, and he's probably going to, they're afraid that he's probably going to start the Jedi back up again, start school, whatever. Maybe they just want to get rid of him. Maybe knowing about, you know, uh, Ray's, what happened with Ray and Kylo Ren is another reason he's like the Jedi Ken Rise again. We got to get rid of all of them. You know, whatever. Whatever the case is, Kylo Ren's still using the same lightsaber. That's good to see. I was wondering if they was going to give him something new. He's going to stick with the same one. and might get a new one later on. You never know. He has a scar across his face, which was caused by Ray. Uh, Finn, you saw him. He's still in that, uh, you know, tank, recovering. Poe Dameron's back. I'm glad he's back. I'm glad he was actually a lasting character because in Force Awakens, he was supposed to die after Finn and him escaped from the First Order. And I believe, I believe, um, Oscar Isaac was like, oh man, I'm going to die. Oh, I thought I would at least, you know, last around in the series or the end, to the end of the movie or something like that. And that was changed in the script, I believe. That's what happened. I read that somewhere. Hopefully it's true. But um, I like his character. They just gave us some quick teasers, you know, and Luke talking to Rey. Uh, I guess this training for her to feel the force and, and to learn how to use it and stuff like that. Um, and she said she saw light, she saw dark, and then she saw a bounce. It was short. I expected long. I thought it was going to be a full-length trailer. But like he said, they're still in the editing process, so they gave us what they could give us. And I'm waiting a full-length trailer. That might come sooner than we think. I can't wait to see this movie. Um, I... I you know, I don't know what my expectations for this is. It's Star Wars, so it's all good. I, I don't care. You know what I mean? This was fantastic. I was supposed to go to the movies like an idiot. I booked to see Fast and Furious 8 at 1130. I'm like, wait a minute. The Star Wars celebration. I got to see this trailer. But I'm glad I got a chance to see this. Watched it live. You guys got to see me react to it. I was, I was my heart beating. I had goosebumps. Couldn't really talk too much during the reaction. But anyway, that's it for my reaction of the Star Wars Episode 8. The Last Jedi. Trailer. Teaser. Whatever. Anyway. See you next time.